Dari horsemen are. Greetings and welcome to episode 71 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Russia campaign and this my friends have it last time where we have once again engaged the Venetians we really have begun to chip away as you can see at the defenders of Venice here now it's been a brutal fight thus far they've thrown a great plethora of armies against us we've we have managed to repel and indeed give them a real bloody nose. As you can see even our numbers now are starting to feel the effects of this war here. As you can see some of the marines down already quite substantially and the the light infantry as you can see here in the Tsar Gars, this elite infantry which really did hold f f fast last time have stood up well but look at the right look at the light infantry they were at the brunt of the attack and they took a real beating. Thus also the cavalry which of course we led with the cavalry and my goodness me they took a real hammering there but we still got the good fire support behind us here but we've got a th the, the line is thinned shall we say here now as you can see we're up against these gentlemen here to start with but they've brought in a formidable a formidable army behind them here including Swiss Grenadiers, Grenadier Guards, Marines themselves I've also got these Swiss pikemen which can be an absolute menace they've also got here Swiss line infantry so they really have brought a lot of Swiss troops with them, which really are excellent troops by their own right. So we've got quite the fight on our hands here. We do have some excellent, excellent reinforcing armies here. We've got the general here, as you can see. So I think what we will do is we'll have the cavalry in first. The cavalry is always very useful to come in first as that reinforcement. And I think we'll have the Tsar guards here. These really are the absolute apogee, the pinnacle of our fighting forces here. Actually, we'll have the, the Hazards coming in before we have these gentlemen. And then I think we'll have some blunderbuss shotgun as well. Just bring that shock value to the fight. And then we shall have, of course, our standard regular line infantry, which of course stands well toe-to-toe -to -toe there with the Venetians. As you can see, we brought this army in, look at that, down to one man here. Gen Joseph Stanley got an absolute battering there, the command command group there. But I think we will bring in these cavalry, this cavalry first. We'll leave these cavalry because they need replenishing, but we'll bring in the... We'll also leave that regiment down there. We'll bring in the line infantry to reinforce. <coughs> 
That should do it, I think, my friends. That will be enough to really repel this initial assault here. We're going to take this fight because we want to chip away at the defenders. We really want to give them a real hammering here. Start to chip away here at the defenders and move in with a full army against the Venetian capital itself. It might fall quite quickly, even though they've got quite a number of defenders still behind the capital itself here, and in good fine fettle as well. So but let's take this fight. We might then have to pause because we really need to bring our defenders up, our attackers about our armies up to full strength. I'd like to thank all of you for your wonderful advice, suggestions and support in this campaign. It has been a very long time since we've fought in the Russian campaign, but we shall, my friends, once again bring the Venetians to heel here. Can we hold, sir? Can we hold? It's going to be quite the fight here again, but we've, as I said, we've got to take the chance. Oh, right slap bang in the middle here of a, of a town. Look at that. It effectively, oh my goodness me, it encompasses the entire deployment zone. Oh, this is going to be a brute of a fight. Now this right wing here seems probably the best position for us. They've got a completely open ground, of course, ours here. The topography is absolutely dire. Because it, this, this village really does hamper us. We've got nowhere we can deploy in the back line at all. Perhaps in the corner here. We could deploy in the corner here, but that would hem us into a very, very sort of... St mind you, it would probably bring them down this route here. And hit them. they would be pretty hard-pressed to, to attack us there. But it depends where, where that supporting army is going to come in from. Now, we know we're only going to put two regiments coming in, but... Where is that support army coming in from? That's the key. I wonder if we could just... Perhaps we could siphon this corner off here for our own and use the village as our as a way to sort of disrupt the incoming Venetian forces in their line of advance. But we don't know where they are. It's probably going to be coming from this direction here. I think we might just hem ourselves in here. Let's put the general right back here to set that place marker. And then I think we'll have... Yeah, we'll have the 33rd foot. These gentlemen will be out on the, on the absolute extremes here, the defence. Got to get this defence absolutely spot on here. There are already 55 men down here. But we've just got to make what we have here. 35th. The Marine is going to be the Marine Corps is going to, or the Marine Regiment. They're going to be the, the vanguard of our defence here. Look at that. 34, 35th, and 33rd all together here. Just holding a strong defensive line. I think we'll have the Hazars. Or the Tsar, should I say. Again, protecting our flanks. We've got a very, very strong defensive line here. Still in good fettle as well. And behind that, we shall have our cannons. Here, we won't put any cannons. Actually, we could put some cannons in the front line here. But it would disrupt our in. Actually, we might have just one here. Let's move this line. This regiment here. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Let me just bring gentlemen. Perfect. We'll put the Russian Tsar guards here. We'll just have them firing in here. Now this line here is not the finest to have them in, but you could probably set them off, set them here, and then put these gentlemen in here. That's going to be a very, very awkward position to put them in, in terms of their firing arc. So we'll have to really shorten this line here, and then what we'll do is we'll straighten this line out once the deployment is over. We've got them in the front line there, as it were. Now we've got a very, very strong howitzer presence here as well, which is excellent place here. Just set them back here. Put that fire control into place. Now our cavalry. To be effective we're going to have to use the cavalry. We probably have to hold the cavalry back. It is in a reserve I think. Because you can see we don't have much to really use. Lance guards. I think we'll set the, the sharpshooters in the front line again. I know they really have taken a beating here, but we need to use it to protect our... We'll 
have to use the Jemba to protect mostly the artillery. As you can see, we don't have that many here, but they'll definitely be incredibly useful here, just as a small detachment. I know there's not many here, but still. Have we got everybody in this different Ah, look at that. Almost left those Lancer guards here. Which would have been... Just in case we're attacking one of the flanks here. So we don't know which angle they're going to come in from. They might even come from behind us here, so we've got to be absolutely on the ball here. We might even send... I think we might send this regiment back, and also this regiment back as well, behind the lines, and bring in some fresh troops. They're not really going to do much good to us, and this Lancers here. We can use them for future fights. I think we might withdraw them for now. Anybody else been left in the front lines here? Nope. Right, let's begin. Oh, good grief. Fight on the flanks here of us. That's okay. That's fine. Right, we're gonna just retreat these gentlemen. Oh, good grief. This winter's ours. to the chef, sir. My compliments to the chef. into us there. We should have put stakes down but it's too late. Oh, we got caught up on the square. Oh this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. We're gonna retreat them. We need additional forces in here. Got a short no line. Good grief. Double time, gentlemen.
Good grief, this is insanity, sir. All the moves are gone. The other moves are absolutely... They fall valiantly, sir. kitchen sink at us here. in the back of my phone, she can help me get it. Gentlemen, let's 
Formed up properly yet, what a wonder. Losing slightly, I don't think so, sir. So you'll find yourself quickly disposed of, sir. Look at the artillery there. Look how many, look at that. Two, 322 men just to 4 4. Artillery, of course. That's heavy Russian guns, you know, sir. Heavy Russian guns. <laughs> Excuse my action. That might be my friend, you can probably gather that might be. Let's move all the way, let's just not get caught here in the fire. The noise in the background, you might probably tell what that is. Come on, sir, we need to put them to the sword. And why are you standing around, sir? We need this shattered, sir, shattered. Finish these off, and that, my friend, was a hold. And I look at that! Look at the sheer magnitude of the fighting that went on here. That is the sort of high tide mark there for what they have managed to achieve. Keep going, lads! Keep going. I should put the marines back here. Ooh. is shattered. Wow. They dealt, with, they dealt with them pretty sharpish there, but my goodness me, what a fight that was. Luckily we had some good reinforcements, so we've got to re reinforce and rest these troops now, because otherwise the battle then is will not go our way. Come on, reinforcements! Excellent. Russians are still in good, good, still in good stead as well. Excellent to see. Yes. Close victory. I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. Oh, look at that! They lost almost all of the two and a half thousand. We lost a thousand, but we've still got a good complement here. Look at that! The Tsar Guard, 342, sir, and the Marines as well. Wonderful. Look at that! 24 pounders, 171 kills. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, we got them. One more, my friends. Ah, another fight. Oof, this is going to be a bit brutal. We've slowly but surely they're whittling down their defenders. I oh, will take this fight, my friends. We're definitely, we're we'll definitely take this fight because we can. We might even be able to take the Venetian capital this episode, which would be an absolute wonder, sir. Sorry about that, my friends. And I think we shall take this fight. My goodness me, this army really has been in. The walls here. Actually, we might decline this opportunity. We could intercept it, but we're, I think we're going to lose this army if we do. We need to pull another army in. Of what? I think we'll just decline this attack, actually. Uh, there it is. That's what we were looking for. That's more like it, sir. We were able to pull that army out. Oh, 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 oh. look at that army there. That's a wonder. Now, this army is definitely going to be staying. These armies are going to have to stay out. Definitely the same way. We're going to have to use this army. This army and this army have to be the battering ram. It's going to break the, the remainder of these Venetian forces. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. We got only nine there. We have to pull that one straight off the battlefield. I think 338. I think so, sir. 322. Right, we'll definitely have our our, our infantry. Got some very, very good infantry regiments here. Another one here as well. Some good. I'm gonna 
have the Anwar and Mulvaltar warband. Then we've got our artillery, not every other regiment. Oh, they're the army apart from these are not in bad shape, but they're not in good shape either. We're going to have to definitely take a breather here, a rest. We're going to have to rest these troops because they really have been in absolutely battering their way through the Venetian forces. We have effectively obliterated the majority of all of the Venetian forces, but we're going to take this fight. We do need to take the fight here. We're down to only 37, 65 men here, but we're still in pretty good shape here. Plenty of guns. I think we've got enough to deal with these, but it's these reserve forces here we have to deal with. I think we might retreat these two regiments to start with, and this regiment, and bring in the brand new these regiments here to start with to help us out here. We'll take that fight. Let's take this fight. We're slowly, bit by bit, chipping away the defenders of Venice. That's what we wanted to do. If we went in full on with all our armies against all the Venetian armies, the losses would have been staggering on both sides. And although I have no doubt we would have won, it would have cost us dear. This way, at least we were able to preserve the core of our armies, the v sort of the veterans. That's what we want to do. If we can just get Venice, it really would give us a wonderful strategic position, especially with the Prussians across the border there. The Alps would be ours. We could then move in across the Alps again and against the Prussians, which would be an absolute boom. Now, the topography here of this the deployment zone here is again really dominated by this village. It is absolutely the dominant feature here. But look at that, they've got this up here, but then again they can't really use it very well. They've got this real cliff face as it were here. Now they're sort of coming up. Oh, we're on the sort of the top, this village is on a sort of almost the top of a hill almost as you can see here. So I think we'll place ourselves at the back here and use the village again to, to sort of disrupt, but we also got to watch our flanks, we don't know where that reserve force is coming in either. But actually these artillery units could probably deal with them to deal with, take care of themselves actually, but I think we'll definitely retreat some of these units first off, but I think we'll set ourselves up here in the corner again, uh, but this time we've got more discretion in terms of more space behind the village, we've, so we're further back behind the village this time. Right, we'll have oh we've just got two men left in this in this command group here that's, a, that's not good at all is it but we've got but it is what it is right it's got lots of howitzers thankfully which we are going to set up here just angle them just to make sure we got to cover all our bases here because we do have that other army coming in. It's usually come might come from this flank here. As, and then we've got them under control here. Oh my goodness, but look at that, look at that. The fire but the fire support, the fire power of this is gonna be exceptional. Now I think we'll have this regiment here as sort of the vanguard of our defence here. Let's really set ourselves up at a very sort of small arc here. So we've got maximum fire support, fire power, in a very limited space. Look at that. Covering all our bases here are going to be absolutely crucial. We do have horse guards here and here. Grassiers, but... Some of these regiments aren't going to be any, not, I wouldn't say unuseful, that would be the wrong word, but they're not going to prove their worth to us just yet. I think we'll put one regiment along this flank here, and then we can readjust it as we start, because just in case they come from this flank here, that's the real, that's the real key concern. 136 men, I think we have 136 men along here as well. And they're hidden as well, which is excellent just to protect our flanks here, because last time we almost got caught on the hop there. Oh, look at that. I think, I think we can definitely withdraw this regiment as well. I want to preserve the, the mech, the, because these gentlemen, these units now are starting to approach veteran units, veteran status. We want to keep the veterans. 338 here, this regiment, this line of infantry here. The topography has to be absolutely used to our, our 
at our discretion here. Our advantage would have this route. And again, only 18 men there in this that cavalry unit. Again, they're going to be withdrawn. We'll just seal off this flank here as well, just in case. And that's a good long defensive line here. Plenty of fire support. Not really much in terms of... Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll treat all of these straight off the line. We want to preserve them because, as you can see, they're starting to form into quite a powerful combat unit in terms of their experience. And the, the greater the experience they have, the more fighting efficiency, more fighting capacity they have. They're going to stay in the fight longer. I think we've got everybody out here back in this front line defending here. Let's end here. Let's just pull them away here. Let's retreat them. We can bring in some brand new units. Now. Now we... That really wasn't the idea. But... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That's a lot of forces there coming in here. And also there as well. So we've done the right thing by pulling back here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. We don't really need these gentlemen either, so we'll pull. We'll withdraw them. <coughs> we'll, set up, we'll set up this artillery regiment here to give this, this flank here some extra firepower. and cut off that other force is moving in here. Let's retreat them, they're not going to be any good to us here. We need a fully intact regiment to pump the channel and move it. Attackers move along this line here. Oh, if they come within the striking distance of this, the fire support here would be exceptional, sir. That's more like it. Oh, that's. The blazes are you going? So they're probably going to come from this direction here. We need those additional forces in. Now the council really has been a wonder in terms of giving me some wonderful advice saying, man, if you've got those small in between us, don't are we doing it? Retreat them. Get in the full force of the cannon. Let's open up on them. Let's open up on them.
Here they come. Here they come, lads. Get ready. I shall put this regiment here in the line. They're quite clearly going to try and stretch us now. Bath, as we predicted, sir. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. It's an absolute obliteration. and trying to get this artillery there. Oh, look at that. That's steady now. Steady, lads. Fire support here has been exceptional. Absolutely eviscerated this army. Stop there, they haven't moved advance at all.
we've just decimated. They haven't even they haven't even been able to reach us, sir. Only the cavalry being as we look at that, we've decimated an entire army. Send them forth. Joy to see. Almost. Track the target, track the target. Oh, that's more like it. They come and grenadier guards as well. They stuck those through there, but as you can see, it's breaking up there. Please, blunderbuss. If these blunderbuss get in there, we can clear this entire flank, then, sir. Come here, they come. Oh, that's all steady now. The blunderbuss. I feel they they get close enough.
Look at this shattered. What's up there, my friends? Almost got them, we've almost got them, sir. I don't want that. The fire support here, it's the fire power of our fire support has done it. They've absolutely obliterated them. Bad enough. That's just do we sat there getting too much we left them there for too long being hit by his dragoons. That's an absolute monster, sir. That's two good regiments there. We should get some additional forces coming in now. We could push hard against them actually. I think what we'll do we'll take some of these out of the line here. On the end here, we'll push hard against them now. Double time! Look at that, the fire support here has been exceptional. Wondrous sight. We're going to use these regiments here to push them hard unless we get some more cavalry units in now. Come on, gentlemen. You've had a comfortable fight here on the flanks. Move it. Yes, they've gone. I decided to come back. As you were, sir. As you were, sir. Suit yourself, sir. If you want to come in, we shall fight you. Some hussars, some light, oh, some light hussars. They will deal with the remnants.
done this soon. Back away here. We're going to take care of all of these now. Let's deal with them once and for all. Once and for all. Let's take care of them. Mind you, it's been an absolute brutal fight for Venice. It really has. They've really pushed us to the absolute limit here. Even with the troops we've had, we've just been absolutely pushed right back. End is nicer. Overrun, overwhelmed. But they still put up a good fight. They've had enough, sir. They've had enough. Yes. A ruined victory, of course. Lost a thousand here, but look how we've absolutely crushed them in here. Look at the foot artery, 125 kills, that's incredible. Look at all the artillery kills, unbelievable. Yes, we've pushed them back, sir. Venice is pretty much open here. It's now open, right for the taking. Wow. What a series of fights that was, my goodness me. This force really has been pushed to the absolute limit. We've lost some good final generals here. We've got plus one to morale, plus morale, plus one command leading infantry units. That's that's the that's the sheer magnitude of the fighting taking place here. Thankfully we are and we're continuing to increase our troop presence elsewhere as well. Ah, that is a shame on Moscow here. What has happened? Oh, we've still got some wonderful ministers. Absolutely wonderful ministers. We do need to increase our naval presence as well. The council has said we do need to increase our naval presence. But I think we're going to end this episode here, my friends. Now, as you can see, we do have this army here, which is relatively... In, no, it's not relatively intact. The tortoise taking an absolute beating. As you can see, we've got a lot of replenishment to do here. We've got 51,000 in the bank, which we're going to need. These forces are not in good shape here to take this. As you can see, it's going to be a f incredibly tough. And they've also got an army in here as well. So that's, that army is going to be dragged into the defense of Venice. We have to make sure we've got every single army ready. We might even have to draw some armies off from here as well. Maybe push this army group down f into here. Use it to batter the way into... It's cost us a dear. It really has cost us dear. To break this Venetian hold here. If we can take Venice, though, it would give us access to Munich via the Alps. That really is a strategic linchpin here for us up in here in northern Italy. It really is. And latterly, we could even swing round here through our allied ground here into France proper. Now, that really would be a boon for us. And of course, there is this standoff here on the border. Oh, that's a, that is a fantastic force they've got there. It really is. Hopefully the hopefully France uh, I mean Spain can hold that. Oh look at that. It's my goodness me, what an army there. That is exceptional. Oh good grief and they're building another one there. That is incredible. Spain readers have some formidable forces. We're at peace with Britain, which is good. And they've got some wonderful forces. Look at that. But our main goal here is to take Venice. We can take Venice. We've sort of almost We've almost running parallel here then with the vast majority here of the Pers the Prussian Empire in terms of the reach we've got here. We've taken all as far as we can. I know they've got Paris here, but we've got allies here in Turin, which means we can use this ground, this land, to pass through. 
So we could theoretically move from Paris th from Venice, or we could even move against Munich from Venice, because we've effectively secured everything else south of that. And our empire does surround, effectively surround the Prussians now, <coughs> and also our allies around them as well. We definitely have to increase our naval presence as well. That does need to increase substantially. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. It really has been a battle and a half there, but I'd like to thank all of you for your wonderful advice. I will be taking your advice up fully next episode. We've also got this massive battle here for Georgia to take place. We've got to replenish all our armies here as well. They do need replenishment. Um, that is going to take, as you can see here, some of them aren't at full strength at all. Uh, they do need that, but not too far off, which is excellent to see. But this will be an for another for another episode as well. At least that that one is we're going to have to definitely move against this army. They're not going to move out here. They're dug in, which means us moving against them. We've also cleared our flanks here, thankfully, this is the craft workshop here. And while we're at it, we shall replenish, because that's a very powerful army indeed, as you can see here. But that's where we're going to end this episode, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. Thank you for all of your wonderful advice, your very kind words as well, your wonderful support. Thank you, my friends, for everything, not just for this, but for all throughout the channel as well. It's been absolutely fantastic. hope you've enjoyed this. It might be a Knights of St. John campaign coming up next, um, but I hope you enjoy this. Uh, until next time, my friends, and always, as always, my friends, please be safe out there. But until next time, bye for now.